All right, let's start with knocking on the door of life. So as we're getting into our bodies, let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath, just nice and easy. <sighs> we're gonna just settle into the space here. And this, this time that we have together, it's just for you. Connecting to yourself, finding you know, gratitude in all the things. Good, breathing in that pure chi, pure light. And exhaling anything that you can't make use of. Good, just find some ease in this movement here. Good, slow it down. Let's go into waterways. So we're just gliding our hands. So we're finding that Tai Chi movement. We're just gonna move nice and slow. So we're, we're, we're palms are facing the earth. They're just wanting that cord from the middle of the palm to connect with the center of the earth first here. Notice your feet, just the way that I, I can just feel that chi moving up from the earth. So I feel supported and grounded. Nice and easy. Finding that sway. I don't like seaweed. But rocking like a baby. We're mimicking nature here. Just gonna slow it down. Good, hands over the belly. Good, let's shut the eyes for a moment. Breathing into the palms, nice, nice and easy inhale, nice relaxed exhale. Good, let's go ahead and set our intentions for our practice today, for the day. And as we're moving through our class today, the postures and the forms, I want us to find new ways of embodying gratitude as a operating system, as a way of being. Good, connecting with the breath. Good. Let's move our hands over our ribs. Breathing into the liver gallbladder meridian. So you can kind of wiggle a little bit. It might be a slight movement. So breathing into the palms, inhaling, expand that rib cage. And exhaling, you can gently press on the body, making sure that you're exhaling fully. Good, we're just breathing into the wood element here, just making sure that we're leaving stress at bay, making sure we just have smooth flow of chi. Good, let's move it up to the chest. Good, breathing into those lungs. Finding the inspiration. Mm, get that pure chi right in there. We call it chin chi. Good. This is, allows us to connect with something bigger than us, especially on a day like today. Connecting with the people that might not be in body form. Good, and exhaling, you can gently press on the chest. Good, and relax, good. Let's do Tai Chi opening. We're just gonna inhale the arms up and exhale down. Good, and you can go as slow as you want, any, any pace. We usually say that the speed of your movement shows us the speed of your thoughts. Go ahead and breathe into any body part that you might not feel connected to right now. Good, feel the pull, that pulse from the middle of your palm down to the center of the earth. And we're just mimicking this ebb and flow, this rising 
and lowering all the yin and yang properties. We practice these movements enough, our body becomes one with the rhythms of nature. So we're creating this memory here. Nice and easy. Good, inhale up. Filling that body up, good, and exhaling back. Composting what we can't use. Sometimes I like to, when we change form, to pick a new thing to be grateful for. So let's go ahead and drop one hand down, the left hand, leave the right hand up. We're gonna go into just nice and easy cloudy hands. Good, weight shift, edge shift the arms. Nice and smooth. Good, top hand over the heart. Just really connecting with our heart today. Bottom hand just skimming over this beautiful, lake, connecting with the water element. As a reminder, you know, this, this form is so beautiful. It's just, it feels poetic in its form, but, you know, I always say, gosh, let's have that top hand be our values, our will, what we don't waver on. And then the top hand, if it comes through you, out into the world, it has to come through your heart. So if it's something worth saying and speaking, it's intentful. We're clearing out our aura today before we may see and engage other people. So this is also this clearing away, we call it cloudy hands. You can bring your breath down to your belly. Good, and that top hand, you can, if, you, if there's any cords that aren't clear with you and another human, you can just pull that cord all the way out, purifying that cord. It's important to purify our hearts. They can often become bitter, get resentment, but it's only because we go back to that we care and that we love. Good, and relax. Ooh, that feels good. All right, let's do right foot forward and left foot back. We're just gonna float the hands up and around. So we're gonna be opening up the ankles and the Achilles. I, I like to do a little bit more dramatic hips, so I'm opening up my hips. And the hands are still floating and we're gonna go back to our focus with the breath. Because there's nothing to do, we're only practicing being. Good morning. Hi. So I like to, to pretend I'm stirring the cauldron. What am I mixing in some sort of potion for the best life possible? That's kind of me. But we're also, again, finding that rhythm of water. The spiraling motion that we see all over nature. Good. 
good and switch. Anytime you want to go within, you can just close your eyes. Good, back to center. As we squat down, our arms come out. We're gathering that earth energy right into our own center. Good. Exhale out. We like to inhale. Bring that right in. Good. Hands float out as we sit back. Good, gathering that earth energy. This is a reminder that we connect to the earth by eating her nourishment, giving back what we can't use. So many beautiful metaphors. How can we be better at receiving? How can we be better at giving? Technically, the earth element in Chinese is only about four weeks long. It's the shortest element. It's, it's between summer and fall. And it governs our muscles. So you'll start after you do this for a while, you start feeling the, the muscles of the legs. That earth that gives you that integrity for your structure of the bones here. So it helps with boundaries. Yeah, let's go ahead and hold our hands right in front of our center here. See if you can feel any sort of chi ball. Okay, let's rub the ends of the fingertips. Hi, Ziggy. <laughs> Good, just waking up, activating yin and yang, which, which turns to the end of the fingertips and the toes. Waking it up, good. Flick of the wrist, do a little, little bouncing here. Good, keeping our wrists nice and supple, flexible. Because we have opposable thumbs, we just want to take, grab, which is amazing. Want to make sure that we can actually have that metaphor, take what's yours in life. So we want to keep that wrist, the chi flowing to all those hand meridians here. Let's do the other side. Staying with the breath. Good. Playing full out here. Good, and then shake. Good. We're going to continue to do that. So hand comes here. So fingertips, we're going to touch that inner small intestine, the hand meridian. So it goes down here, and then the palm shows up at your face, and we come across. Part of the tendon Gung series. So you can move the wrist. So we're gonna we can focus, we'll focus on all parts of the body. Okay. So opening up the hips as we twist and feel that. And you can you can be a little bit more dramatic with this one. So we're wanting to oilate all the ligaments, sorry, the joints, the wrist, the elbow, 
a little bit, little bit of the shoulder, a lot around the hips. Good, hand towards the face, giving yourself that chi, cultivating chi here. And then as we build up the chi, make sure it's flowing through all the meridians here. Good, breathing in the nose. You can also breathe out the nose here. So we want to tone of fine strengthen. Good. Good, finding that beautiful flow. Let's do one more. And we'll switch sides. Good. So let's start by going down. Good. Bring the hand towards the face. And just down again. Add some other movements if you want. Just finding that flow. I really like this one because I feel like I'm dipping my hand in paint, and painting the day. Good. I'm touching that heart meridian, that fingertip on that elbow. I'm staying connected as I'm opening up that heart meridian that goes all through the pinky. Think about the pinky, think about the finishing touch on the way that you do things, the way that you be. Sometimes that's the most important part. Good, couple more. Good, bring your breath anywhere in your body where you're not feeling like you're fully alive here. And then make it beautiful, make it yours. It doesn't have to look a certain way here. How does your body wanna move? Finding that flow. Good, and relax. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go back to a little shaking here. Do a little knocking, then we'll go back into a flow. Beautiful. So in the nose, out the mouth. We're still in the large intestine season. So as we exhale again, just cleaning it out, cleaning out the clutter. Cluttered thoughts, cluttered past experiences. It's time to rename. Okay, now I want you to lift up your heels and knock on the heels. Let's stimulate the bones a little bit. We'll do this more once we get to the winter solstice, but. Good, a little knocking up this down the spine. Good, I want you to knock anywhere in your body right now. We started a little bit of flow. So anywhere where it feels like it's not fully there yet. Waking up the cheek. Ah, gosh, that feels good. All right, let's let's move into now. I want you to let's do embracing the tree. So knees are slightly pressed out. 
Shoulders are back and down, abs engaged. Nice relaxed wrists, nice, nice relaxed elbows, okay? Good, and I want you to try to breathe into the rib cage here. Good, in the nose, out the nose. Find that place within gravity, that one direction, one way direction of chi. Find the path of least resistance. So could you find a place right here where there's little or no effort? In geomancy section of Chinese, you know, semantics, we are already feeling the new year, which is still a few months away. We're gonna be moving into the tiger. We're in the metal ox. And it's, it's, there's gonna be a lot of water energy. So right now, this posture helps you connect with your vision, third eye vision. We've talked about this before staying awake and conducting the course of your direction. You know, what you pay attention to is where your energy follows. So this is a really good posture now, especially on Thanksgiving, to do the review. Even if you don't know what your vision is for next year, just speak it to your body, your cells that are eavesdropping, that you, are open to a vision. And if you know what your vision is, continue to feel that because we're, we're doing the liver meridian right now, which is all about that, that clear vision. Could be a bucket list item, change in relationship. Good, let's drop the arms and let's go ahead and do the flow. So we're gonna to turn to the side, we're gonna inhale our hands all the way up. Let's go up to the crown, come to center, and then exhale forward. Nice and easy, yeah. Good morning, Erica. Good, and inhale up. Good, and exhale down. Good, tap in the roots, the ancestors, pull all of that in to your crown. Good, exhale down. time to pull in the parts of our history or herstory that we want. Parts of our legacy that we want to continue on in this fabric. Good, pulling in, pulling in your own roots. Here we go, all the way up to your crown, keeping that open and exhale. Let's inhale up to the eyes now. Good, purifying that vision here. Uh, we can put some energy into seeing what we want to see. Instead of having a relationship with what we're seeing. So any sort of attunement there. Good. It's him. Hold our hands over our eyes. It could be third eye or your actual eyes here. Feeling the energy, that pure chi from your palms. Sending love to your eyes, to your vision. Being grateful for your ability to see in all the ways that you see.
Max. Good. Let's go into picking cherries. So we're gonna continue to open up that liver gallbladder one more time here. So we're doing a push pull and you're twisting the hand at the top. We're still opening up that heart, heart meridian, that fire element. And then the side that if you can, you can even exaggerate that little side stretch, which is that wood. So the push pull, good inhale and exhale. You can bend your knees. You can also you can make this more of an exercise if you'd like, if you wanna do that squat, just depending on how your body feels today. Good, inhale, expand that breath, open up the side lungs, side lobes. It's like reaching for the sky, but staying grounded and realistic. <laughs> Good, staying in possibility, but staying on this dimension. Such good medicine. Good. Let's bring the elbows together. So we're going to inhale up. Good. Exhale, round the back, tuck, tuck the chin. Yeah, spinal cord breathing. Let's open it up. Spread those wings. Good. Tuck the tailbone. Good. Let's nourish those discs, pumping the spinal cord, the cerebral spinal fluid up and down. That cranial pump. Inhale up. Good. Exhale. You can exhale out of the nose or the mouth here. Good. Let's go to the side. Inhale up, exhale back. Good, ringing out the organs. Good, exhale some toxins if there's any residuals in there. Good, let's go back to our Statement of gratitude. Good. Really embodying someone specific or something specific that you appreciate. They say, What you appreciate, appreciates. So spread those wings, take in that breath, take in that life. Good, and relax. Okay, let's relax those shoulders with some arm swinging. Good, no effort. Inhale up. Good. This is, this is the movement where we just let go of anything that we're shouldering. Go ahead, side to side. Inhale forward, exhale, good, chi bowling. Also clearing out our aura. Good, creating some heat by pumping the muscles of the legs. And also doing some organ twisting. Focus on the shoulders, up and down. We want to create a habit where if they go up, they have to come down. Good, and drop, nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hold our hands down by our front here. Good, let's go ahead and breathe into the belly. Good, 
Good. We're going to inhale the arms up, palms towards your face. You can stop at the top for a second as we look up and exhale. Bring the hands over the face and all the way down. Good. Inhale up. Connecting to the heavens. Good, you can send some energy to your lungs as we inhale up. As your hands pass over your lungs, you could picture that white or golden light, just infusing them so they can vibrate, function higher. Exhaling any sort of charcoal, color out of the lungs. Good, purifying that air. Good, we are in the long element here of the metal in the autumn and it's just such a beautiful time to, you can feel that air is just a little bit crisp. It provides you that oxygen that just feels so good when you take a nice deep breath. This is the time to connect with something bigger than you, things that you can't see, but that you know you are in relationship with. Good, connecting with beauty. This is the, this is the, the autumn is associated with gold and jewels, beautifying the space in your lobby to your home and your clothing. It's about being inspired by your surroundings. So we breathe in that connection to the lung and then we declutter, exhaling the large intestine energy. Let's hold our hands over the lungs and acknowledge the yin and yang of the metal element. So we have this connection to the divine. We have this emotional feeling of loss or grief or sadness, which is perfectly okay. We want to be feeling the magnitude of this emotional landscape that the autumn provides for us. We all have had loss. We want to feel. We're in this element until December 21st. So this is such a beautiful time to feel just the love that bounds no time and space. Good and relax. Good, back of the hands come together. We're gonna come up to the clavicle and exhale out. We're just gonna do a straight up. And there's a little bit of a spinal wave. Good, clearing out the conception vessel. Really mimicking water here. This is the water element doing the yin posture, which is the kidney, kidney flow. So breathing in all the way up to the kidney channel. The kidney actually ends at the base of the clavicle here, kidney 27. That point is just off either side of your front column. And the acupuncture point is spiritual burial ground. Okay, so we can, you can even like touch it. We'll touch it at the end here. But we're breathing in, we're opening up this channel. So like I mentioned before, your legacy, your will, what's yours to do comes through this 
which is like your birthing, right? Bringing it up and out through your heart to the world. Doesn't go through your head <laughs> or it does lastly. <laughs> Good, and the movement is we're gonna move into a ripple now, water. So we're gonna just feel how good that feels to be nourished by water. Path of least resistance here. If you can't get to the mashed potatoes, just go for the stuffing. Good, so I want you to just connect with the deepest part of yourself that's coming through. What are you talking about? What are you thinking about here? So you just bring it in. And with this particular flow, it's always a great reminder to ask yourself, what is mine to do? What really am I birthing in my connections? How I love up on people? How I give my gifts in a greater way? Good, a couple more here. Good. So you just take your fingers and we're just going to go about a half inch off the central column and you're just going to rub here. Yeah. Good. This is spiritual burial ground. There's times when our spirit has waned. We've been defeated by those bigger questions of why, why me, why them, why this. It's time to lighten up our spirits here. Okay, let me just hold, let's take a couple breaths here. Take your hands, just a light, a light wash. Good, full body weight. So we're inhaling up and exhaling forward. Good. bending the knees, bringing the hips all the way forward, doing a wave, just as comfortable as you can with your low back. So we're opening up the meridians of the back of the body and the front of the body here. Good, exhale forward, flat back, relax the neck. You can pause here if you'd like, bend the knee, chin to the chest, and then do the wave, bring the hips all the way forward. You can do a slight back bend if that feels comfortable for you. Good, staying with the breath. Exhaling forward. And inhaling into every cell of your being. No cell left behind. We want that, create that spine nice and supple. We want it nice and strong so it can support you. And we want the energy to be fluid. The blood, water, it's just a carrier here. In Chinese medicine, we say emotions live in the blood. So purifying that here, getting nice oxygenated oxygen into that blood. So we can have nice 
clear emotions for the present moment. Good. Feel that range of motion you have. Places in which your body can stretch. Good. Relax. Good. So hands down by our side here. We're going to breathe in. And then palms come up. Exhale back. Good. I'm just kind of wanting to do a little bit of Qigong for better breathing. Opening up the sides, the back and the front of the lungs here. You can rock a little bit on the toes and then on the heels if you'd like. amazing how many things and ailments oxygen can, can heal <laughs> and fix. Same with water. I've been reading a lot of studies on that. So breathing in, the nose is so different in the conversion to the brain than breathing in the mouth, right? We know that. And we often realize that we don't get enough oxygen. So when we take a deep breath and it feels good, <sighs> we know that we might not have been deepening our breath. So we practice during this time together. So it becomes a habit, a way of being. Good, let's drop the arms down a little bit lower. Find that rocking movement, that swaying. If you have any thoughts, just soothing them out with that rocking. Good, and a little bit lower. Staying with the breath. Good, and relax. Good. Let's do a couple shoulder rolls. Good, other direction. Sure is beautiful here today. Good, so we're gonna actually do a forward bend. We're gonna do a couple more. So forward bend, so you're just gonna go on your making a fist and you're going to knock on the back of the thighs. Good, up and down. Then I want you to take your fingertips and rub up and down. Do some circles behind the knees. And then you can also pluck the hamstrings. So going horizontally. Rubbing the calves, the IT band, with some pressure. Good, come on up. Okay, we're gonna do a movement side by side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna inhale up, we're gonna exhale forward. Just go ahead and relax the neck and the jaw here. Then we're gonna inhale side to side. So the right hand goes to the left foot and we inhale up. Good, we exhale center, other side. You can twist if you'd like. 
And you can go at any pace that feels good. Opening up the dew channel, the urinary bladder channel, opening up the back of the body here. Opening up the hips, the dimine. And staying with the breath, inhaling up and exhale forward. <laughs> Good. And you bend your knees and roll on up. And then a little bit of knocking on that low back. That's one of my favorites. Feels good. All right, let's do the hip circles. And I really want us to make sure our die mind is open today. So pressing the thumbs forward and then releasing. Good, keeping the head over the feet. You can move your fingers, your thumbs up and down two inches, whatever feels good for you. And just feel that belt channel nice and open. Good, other direction. Good, let's bend our knees and forward. Good, moving our thumbs appropriately. I like to go a little bit to the side. Things, to get, things tend to get stuck in our daimai. Maybe you didn't know you had one. <laughs> that feels good. Good, and relax, a little shaky out. All right, I wanna do a couple more. I'm really feeling, although I do this often, I really wanna do a, a bridged version of teacups. I wanna get everything going. So two hands up, I'm just gonna bring them back. Cross. Good, staying with the breath. Good, spiraling out. Our wrists, our elbows, our shoulders. Good, bending with the knees. Okay, let's go the other direction. Do our palms out, good, and back. Nice, perfect. Nice. Okay, one more. Nice, beautiful. Good, so let's go ahead and have our palms by our side. Let's go ahead and quiet our eyes for a second. Noticing all the chi, the activity moving on the inside. Feels like a chi espresso. Good, let's go ahead and breathe in and exhale down. Good, you can bend the knees a little bit. So we breathe in, we stretch really tall. We open up that crown. Good, bringing in the heaven, heavenly energy right into that body temple. Good, breathing in. Connecting with that sun, that light, bring it right in. Good. Sun washing. 
that heavenly chi just purifying all the things. Good, just notice your feet firmly planted on the sand or the floor, wherever you're at. Recognizing that you're between heaven and earth, this connector. One of the three great powers. We have the heavenly chi power, we have the earth power, and we have the human power. Such magnificent ability to hmm, be absolutely creative in your design of your life here. So we're just breathing in, recognizing that connection, that relationship that we have. Being grateful that we don't have to do it alone. Good, purifying our heart, purifying our mind, purifying our soul and purifying our body here, pulling down the heavens. Good. Go back to that intention for today and for your practice. Good, hands over the belly. Let's go ahead and do bamboo in the wind. So feet together. Okay, a little bit of swaying here with the breath, breathing into the palms. Nice relaxed shoulders, neck. Good, legs nice and strong. That's who you are, it's your truth, capital T. Good, getting comfortable as always with change, being adaptable. Embodying what and who you're grateful for in this moment. I hope that all of us are nourished by the meal that we eat today with others. It's always just amazing to come out here to the beach and find more ways to be grateful. Thank you so much for those tuned in online. My gosh, blessings to you and your families. Mm -hmm.